Yes, so we are here. It is Autism Mondays, and yes, I do have. Yes, it's right. It is out. The debut single is out. Settle Petal, my very first forte into a musical career. It has happened. I am so over the moon, even though it got released a week early. <laughs> Obviously, I'm autistic, and um, <laughs> to say I was um, a little bit pissed off <laughs> is a little bit of an understatement. So yes, that's that's kind of that happened, and I dealt with that, and I'm now trying to kind of ravel myself back into like trying to market this thing. But yes, it's out. So Amazon, Spotify, Deezer, everything, everywhere, it is out. So like it. Put on a playlist, do whatever you need to do, and yes, support this little autistic man. Okay. So yes, you've all noticed I do have a haircut. It wasn't who I normally go to. It was a nice woman called Debbie, but obviously it's normally not the way I normally get it cut. So again, that happened with a single. Then I kind of have now a dad haircut. So it's kind of been just, just a, not that I've been bothered or anything. Okay. Yes, it's been a bit of a difficult week um, for me, but it's done now. My hair's cut, and again. The, debut single is out. So for anybody that's new to this channel, yes, thank you very much for sitting in and listening to me waffle for the first, what's that now? Yes, minutes and a half, yes. So, um, yes, I do have an autism playlist every single Monday, so I'll magically appear this here, and you guys can watch me, and there is a subscribe button, okay? Don't forget the subscribe button, okay? Subscribe to me, just click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, and then you could watch me every single Monday, and watch me and the rest of my series. Okay. So yes, the single is out, so I thought it would be a good, good idea to speak about autism in music. Because guess what, something I've not spoken about, and it's one of the things that make me who I am. And you've got to remember, music's really, really, really social. Like you can't, to me, you can't think anything else that's more social. You've got gigs, right? There's now forums, right? So if the struggle, and you've got to remember, autistic people struggle to speak about things that don't interest them. So. If for me, for example, I'll speak about Beatles, I'll speak about Britpop, I'll speak about music production, my own music, music in general, anything about music, I'll sit and speak, no problem. It's how you get me out of my shell. So you've got to remember that if you kind of notice that they're a little bit introverted, right, which most autistic people are, and especially people with Asperger's, but they love, love music and they're in a specific like, genre of music, then what to do is, right, Get them on forums, right? Again, not no face-to-face -face interaction. I'll give you something to speak about. So again, if people listen to my songs, um, so again, if you're getting a son or daughter like, interested in writing music, then push that, right? And it shows them that you're, again, like, you're in, because again, we like to speak about like what we're interested in. So my mum and dad know that if, if they want to get a conversation with me in a certain day, they're going to speak to me about my music. So it's like, right, oh, fucking hell, right. How are you going to know me your music, son? Oh, no, I, what, I've seen this fucking documentary that was on, I really think you'd like, I've already watched it. <laughs> I've watched it three times. <laughs> Did you know? I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I just, I just want you to speak to me. So it's just really important that you remember that music is it's it's in here, um, and it can generally be the key to opening somebody up. Um, but creative, honestly, see creativity. It's to me the thing that brings me out of my shell. So again, for me being a guitarist, right? So I started off. And the good thing is with autism is that the thing with ADD, ADHD, right? Which is a big thing about autism spectrum disorders. I have ADD. I've got videos on that as well, and it's all about the focus, right? So when I picked up a guitar, I picked up a guitar really quick because I was interested in it. I would sit there, honestly, six, seven hours a day. I'd come back from school, and from school all the way up to bedtime, I would be like six, seven hours battering, learning songs, writing songs. So again, because I'm like the music man, like I'm basically dusting off in the music a lot of the time, um, I keep really random facts up here. So it's the thing where I've just got loads of built-in melodies in. So when I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, I like that, I like that, I'll focus on it, and I'll f I can sit there and write a song in 20 minutes. People be like, fuck you, that, that. You took out 20 minutes and like, I'm focused on it. Boom, 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 boom. Like that, like that. And a melody, I'll just be it's there somewhere. <laughs> I'll probably steal in other people's songs, right? But they're stored here. And it just kind of they all fit together. And it's like this perfect jigsaw puzzle when I write songs. Um, and I've always found it interesting about is there something with autism in music? Well, you find that a lot of people that are really, 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 really low on the spectrum, what will happen, it'll be like, there'll be certain songs that soothe them. And again, sometimes they'll just sing, they won't speak to anybody, but they'll sit there and sing songs over and over again, if a song comes on, they'll just kind of like gravitate to it. And it's just, honestly, it's 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 genuinely, a key. I keep on saying it, but it's a key. And I think it, if you've got a son or daughter that's on the spectrum, or you think they're on the spectrum, that it's the key to open it, right? And what you might find from there, so for me, being a songwriter, what did I do? I got on bands, so I was a guitarist. So there was a social aspect. Getting people again, oh, I want to be in a band, I like that type of music, I like that type of music. Alright, let's get together, right? Obviously, in the first time, I'm like, oh, right. 
don't look at me. Just don't, just, just, just don't, just, just play with him telling you to play. Okay, but we try this. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. So, um, being a, I was quite a bit of a, a bit of a dictator in my in my in my band um, back in the day. But it was really important to me that I had those social interactions. I was able to speak to people that were interested in the things that I was interested in. Um, and then from there we started doing gigs. So then again, I started then. Oh yeah, you're in a band. You're in a band again. Observing them from afar. This band's okay. Oh, this guitarist is pretty pish, but. Um, they're okay. Um, and then I get speaking to bands after it and then building rapport with people about the same kind of topics. And then, like from where I am just now, I've kind of got to a point when I'm like, I'm 31 now. <laughs> I'm so old. Um, not that I'm bothered or anything. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm kind of going into my shell now, which is why I did this YouTube channel. And I'm interested in giving this music to you in the hope that you might like it and you might like listen to it and take something from it. Then I'm honestly, if you were, honestly, if you like my music, you send me a big massive email, I'll sit and speak to you all night because I'm interested in it. That's the kind of guy, I, artist I would be with my fans. Um, and I think that's really important that even if it's something like it's drums, violin, cello, whatever they're interested in, you normally find they like sell it because they're so focused on it, right? And so again, I'm no sense it's like throw education out the window, but put, put just as much focus into that as their education because I hate it. Look, I'm a clever laddie, right? I'm 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 not a genius, but I like I'm clever enough. I'm a store manager. I've done well for myself. I've got a degree. I could do lots more, lots more with what's up here. But I'd much rather be focusing on music stuff. I'd much rather be being a mixing engineer. I'd much rather be a songwriter. I'd much rather be releasing music or something to do with music. If I was to do like a sixty grand a year job, I'd like the money. But if I, if I wasn't, if my heart wasn't in it, honestly, I would just get to a point where I'd just probably jack it in. Because I just wouldn't be interested. Go, you, you, Mr. Mr. Tam from Stall Game. I was like, yeah, because I, I, I'd, I'd stop being good at my job. I'd stop turning up. I'd just, honestly, when I'm disinterested, I completely cut off. I switch off and I stop being good at what I'm good at. Because I want to focus back on what I'm interested in. I have, I, I, again, this whole thing was like autistic people are like, see, they always seem like there's these limitations. I think in terms of creativity, we actually have more tools um, than normal people. Again, I hate that term, but it's just... In case you're not on the spectrum. Again, for me, it's just, it's in me. I've got that focus, that drive. A lot of people say, I want to be a musician. But do they really have that drive? Do they really have that focus, that interest? Which is me. I'm so interested. I'll sit and find out. Again, releasing this on my own, right? Uh, again, that's why I've got so many videos about all the distributors. I've got four different videos. Why I didn't go with that. Why I went with this. How I did this. I've got a video on how I even uploaded the song to, like, to, with CD Baby. And again, I researched everything. Honestly, I like to a T, and it's like we're well, going through this. Like, okay, what could I distribute it with? Right? What could I? How could I market it? How could I? What could I use there? How does that work? Like, I don't know, I'll, I'll like go through reviews of different things, and I'm so methodical because I'm so passionate about it. And people know that I'm music's in here. Right? Music's in here. If I'm in the car, music's on. Right? Playlist is on. I don't want. I don't know what to listen to your past playlist. Okay, I don't know what to listen to Beyonce. Even the girls. I'm not interested with it in the charts. Right? We are not listening to Doja Cat, we are listening to Ray Charles. Doja Cat? No, Ray Charles. You're it. That's the way I am. I, want my, I educate my girls on music and it's what brings me out Michelle and it's what kind of perks me up. Music is a feeling, it's, again, it's, honestly, like, people are going to go mad at this, right? It wouldn't surprise me, right? I'm just going to say it, if Morrissey was on the spectrum, as songwriter after songwriter, it wouldn't surprise me if Morrissey was like on the autism spectrum in some way because he writes so literal, and that's the way I write. I write really, really literal in black and white. I'm like Roy Walker, R.I.P. Right? Say what you see, say what you see. That's <laughs> a terrible Irish accent. It's like catchphrase. We see, we say what we see, and we write what we see. My music is very literal, very black and white, because again, I'm a creepy watcher child, right? I'm an, I'm an observer, that's what I do. I write about other people's experiences, and I sometimes find it hard to write about my own experiences, um, but which then people relate to that more, because you're writing about other people and it's quite interesting to have that viewpoint um, a lot a lot of Smiths fans will be like Morrissey is the flower of a generation how dare you stay here on the autism spectrum would it surprise you really think about it would it surprise you if Morrissey was on the autism spectrum think about it really really think about it it probably wouldn't so so focused again think about when Morrissey used to go and do like a lot of the records it'd be like Johnny Marr would post a tape right a cassette and um, with the music through his letterbox He'd sit with it, he'd do the lyrics, he'd, he'd practice it, and he'd go in the studio, do a couple of takes, boff, back out again. He wouldn't even really socialise with his own, like, bandmates. I remember that when Johnny Marr left, it was like he didn't have the balls to basically say, right, you're out of the band. And I'm pretty sure, I think it was Mike Joyce, and he had to get Mike Joyce 
to shove this guy out of the band. Uh, again, it was those social interactions that he struggled with, and people go, oh, look at Morrissey at stage and stuff. He doesn't do many interviews, and he is a bit of, a, <laughs> is a, bit of an odd cut. I do, I love Morrissey. Um, but again, it's that focus and that detail. Um, and again, people, I'll, I'll probably offend a lot of people, but I think about it, I wouldn't have really surprised me um, if he was on the spectrum. I think I'd be great for the spectrum, because I, I want to take away that that limitation that having autism is a bad thing. I genuinely believe that the reason that I'm so focused at music, I'm a good mixing engineer, I've got a degree in audio engineering, the reason I'm a songwriter, the reason I'm going to release my album, the reason, the reason I managed to release this single, this debut single, all on my own, all on my own, without any help. Um, is because of my autism, because I'm so driven and I'm so focused about it and I'm so passionate about it. People with autism are passionate, right? People, a lot of people think that we're like really stale, but no, we're just, we're stale about things we're not interested in, but when we're passionate about something, like, think about undateables, James Bond and stuff like that. And again, it's like the guy's like fixated on James Bond, he knows everything about James Bond, super passionate about it. Again, there's the key to open the door. So music's really, really, really important. And again, if your kid is like pick, wants to pick up a trombone, let them pick up a trombone, right? See, they're, they're rubbish at it. Be realistic and get them a guitar, get them a bass, get something else. They're interested in music, push that passion. There's loads of people that love drawing, right? But it's like their mum and dad never pushed them into like, my mum and dad pushed me into music because they knew that's what I enjoyed. And guess what? If I might end up this single does nothing, the album does nothing when it comes out in 2021. Who cares? Because I've enjoyed it, I've been able to have a passion about something that enables me to go. No, it's fine that I've got like a, a, a store manager job in retail, right? I know it's not what I'm passionate in, but I've got something that I do have a passion in. I put my heart and soul into it. And that pays the bills, and I've kind of. And it's about having that balance. If you kind of push autistic people just to do that kind of way in life, and just know that's that's what society want you to do, you might find that they have a horrible life and they're just unhappy. If I'm, if I'm not able to pursue my passions and I'm unhappy. Me listening to music, me speaking about music, me creating music is, is me, it, it makes me who I am, it makes me happy. So music's really, really important and yes, I did do this video mainly to speak about this, but again, it's, I thought it'd be interesting to speak about how important it is to me and how much it brings me out of my shell. Because of you, again, honestly, right, I could be at the school gates and I don't want to speak to anybody. I don't want to speak to anybody. I just want to pick up my daughter. Why can I pick up my daughter? Well, there's tons of conditions. Have you not seen me? But if they go, Paul, oh, I heard you're single. Right, well, okay, well, I was in the hair looking okay. How did, how would you, did you like the bass on it? Did you like the guitar? How did you think about the melody and, and, and the bridge? Eh? Did, you, did you like the chord progressions? How did you like the production? <laughs> I just thought it was a bit catchy. Okay, that, would you like me to tell you more about the song? No, I just really like it. Okay, have a great... That's kind of just the way I would be, because it, 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 bring, it brings me happiness when people speak to me about my music, and that's what I want to happen here. So again, I do autism videos to raise awareness of high function autism, but this one's, a, this one's a happy video, because I want to speak about how good autism can be. And yes, that is <laughs> my daughter waiting up, waking up from a nap, and that is the reality of this life. <laughs> It's great having kids, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Right, so, yes, Settle Pill. It is, I've got a link in the description. Um, I've got here now thing, but it's again, it's got Amazon. It's on everything. It's on everything. Listen to it. Stick on the playlist. Let me know your thoughts about it. See if you like it. Tell me. Help this little autistic man live his dream. Let me live my dream. So, yes, like and subscribe. Most important, subscribe because I want to get a thousand subscribers, right? I'll need to get this channel monetized because I want to have more time to put into the autism series, mixing series, all the stuff that I do. I know you're only really meant, really meant to focus on one thing per channel, but I, I, I am multifaceted, okay? So yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, th I don't know what I'm going to do next week because I've been been so distracted with the haircut and the single, you know, it's like just smiling, what do you think you should buy it? Okay. So yes, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Monday, okay? Autism Mondays.